Hello, this is Chris Coffey, Instructional Technology Coach for Bamberg School District 1. Today in this video, we're going to see how to start off creating documents. Uh, pretty easy, but there are a few options that you might want to consider. The first is where you're going to open it. So my personal uh, preference is to go to Drive, um, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But all you have to do is go to drive.google.com, log in with your district account for anything that you're doing for the school. Then you're going to come to this new, and you're going to be able to go to Google Docs, and then you're going to have the choice from a blank document or a template. Uh, to start with, templates are, are a nice way to get started. You don't have to worry about formatting. You can find something close to what you're looking for, and then just change it up as you need to. But as you learn the features of Google Docs, blank documents are about as fast because uh, the basic editing isn't that difficult and you can do it fairly quickly. So once you learn, the blank document's probably going to be the way to go. Now, the reason I like to use Google Drive is I like to start off by going to the folder where I want that doc to be. So for this case, I'm just going to go to, let's see, Technology Instruction Folder. And this is Basic Assignments. That's the Google Classroom I'm working in right now. And I'm working with Google Docs. So notice I've already created a few in here. But if I create a new document here, it'll automatically be in that folder. So that's nice. The other thing is, if I'm working in Google Classroom, chances are I'm going to be working on more than just one thing. So I might be in Google Classroom. I might be working on my web page. I might need a uh, you know Google Sheet or a Google Slide. And when all that's done, what I'll need is to swap back and forth. So I prefer starting in Google Drive. Um, and again, same thing. I would just go to Google Docs and I would create a blank document. Well, this, we'll just call this fake one. It's saving. I'll save, I'll change the save. So I'm going to close it out. And notice it creates it in this folder. And being organized in Google is a huge thing. So please make sure you're saving things uh, in, in a way that you can find them and you're naming them in a way that you, you know what they are. Because, you know, you might want to use the same thing next year. Or you might have a teacher or a student who says, hey, can you send me that? And something like, you know, untitled 433 doesn't tell you what assignment that is or what kind of document it is so make sure you're doing that I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one don't need it now the other option of creating a Google Doc is to go to docs.google.com same thing you're gonna log in with your district account and you have this little nice selection uh, pane at the top including recent documents that you've made down at the bottom so we can say alright I want a blank document like I said, most of the time it's going to be nice. Uh, editing is not that difficult. I know it's intimidating at first. It's different than uh, Microsoft Word. But most of the basic editing features are there. So uh, you should pick it up with no problem. So there's uh, the blank document. And then I can actually see some of the templates. And if I click on that little pull down, in case you didn't see that, let me go back to it. The template gallery, I can just click on that and I can actually see a few others and they have a decent amount to choose from so if you do want to get started with a template feel free uh, so I personally am just gonna start with that blank document again and I'm gonna call it fake 2 but the problem is now it's going to save it in my drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So if I go back to drive, I'm in that technology instruction folder, but it's not showing up. That's because by default, it's going to save this fake two into my drive, which is where everything else is. So there's that fake two right there, but I want to get it all the way, you know, two folders down into in, uh, technology instruction. Now I can click and drag and move it to that folder, but in this case, I've, okay, now it's here. So I'd have to bring it to basic instruction and then I would have to bring it to uh, Google Docs. So that can be problematic. So something else that you can do is inside of the document, once you've created any Google Doc, uh, you can have the option to star it so it stands out and two, 
you can move to and if you click on that it'll give you all your folders and so okay there's technology instruction and it shows this little arrow shows that there are subfolders it's in the basic assignments and then Google Docs and then I can say move here and now when I come in here notice it's showing up right there but give it a second it will show up right here in, in fake 2 or rather in that uh, instructional technology instruction folder so those are just two ways you you can uh, create a Google Doc either in Drive or in Docs uh, the preference is up to you there's no right or wrong way just kinda play with it and see which one you like best I hope this video has been instructive if you have any more questions check out our website and thank you so much for watching